Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Pilot 2K7 and we are back with another Farming Simulator 19 video. Today we're going to cut all the extra. We are at the shop and we are going to go and purchase a brand new vehicle from Expendable Modding Group. This one is not released yet, but it should be released in the future. They're still working on it, so huge shout outs to them for letting me test it out a little bit early and have some fun with it and show it off to you guys. So again, huge shout outs to Expendable Modding Group. You guys could find them on Facebook. They're linked down below. They also made that awesome F350 that we used a couple episodes ago, if you guys remember this one here they're the one that made this f350 as well this one is already released if you guys would like to download this f350 definitely check it out again you can find it on expendable modding group and they are linked down below in the video description so today guys we're going to be checking out this second gen dodge here this is a pretty nice truck this is a pretty popular truck as well a lot of people love the second gens so we're gonna go ahead and purchase this truck today looks like it's gonna be how much is this thing 30 grand 30 thousand for this thing um it is color changeable it has the uh transfer tank in the bed there which is pretty cool it also has the hitch in the bed and then a the bumper pull hitch down here as well very nice exhaust too that's a nice looking exhaust down there Rims looking nice, wheels looking light, nice. Suspension's on point, everything's looking good with this truck. So this is going to be our new truck, guys. I know it's crazy. We're like buying a brand new truck every day, but we're going to we're gonna use all of these trucks. Don't worry. We're going to have a purpose for them. Now, I was thinking on what color I want to go with. Um, I saw this really cool second gen on YouTube. Um, you guys may even know him. He's a pretty popular YouTuber. I can't think of his name, but he sold his second gen. Um, he has, oh no, don't purchase yet. He has a Ford now, but, um, I don't know what color I want, guys. You guys know this is always my problem. I think I want, like, a silver. That is not a silver that I'm looking for. But, yeah, I think I want, like, a silver color. This would be okay, but I feel like this is just too close to white. It's going to almost look white. And this is actually silver. But silver in the game, I guess it kind of does look silver. What do you guys think? Does this look silver or white? This is actually white. So that's white. And silver. I feel like it's too close. I want something just a little darker. I don't know what's a good color, guys. Let me know, as always, down below in the comment section. What color do you guys think we should make this truck? And I'll definitely look at your suggestions there. Red is nice. A lot of you guys always like blue as well. Blue is looking nice as well. I think I'm going to go because we're actually going to be hauling horses today too. So I want to go with something that is similar to the horse trailer. So let's go on to animal transport here. We're going to be using this Wilson Ranch Hand. This is also available. Um, it was posted by a community member on Expendables. So shout outs to him as well. So let's purchase this first, guys. This is pretty cool. Um, I kind of saw it. Gave you more information about it, about what you could carry with it. But we're going to go ahead and purchase this. And we're going to try to find something close to this color. So this is like a gray color. So let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. I think I got the color in my head. So let's go back and look at the truck now. Sorry I always take too long, so long to pick out the colors. <laughs> I feel like I'd be wasting time. Let me know if you guys want me to just like skip past this mm. part. I think we're going to go with this. I think this is going to be pretty close. So we're going to go ahead and purchase this, guys. Hopefully it looks good. All right, guys. So after like an hour of trying to pick out what color, I decided to go with this gray color. It's a little dark, but it is nice. And I figured a nice dark gray and black would be nice. So we got gray and we have the nice black wheels tinted windows. I figured, I figured it would look pretty nice. So let me know what you guys think about this truck. Also has a lot of the same features of the Ford F350 like I was telling you guys about. So we got the hitch. We got the transfer tank. We can also turn on the running lights there. As you can see, very nice. You get the lights in the front. Lights on top. Lights in the back. Turn signals do work. Very, very nice. All the signals work, the hazards work. Very nice. 
And let's turn on the lights. So we got HID headlights on these two. And high beams and the fog lights as well. So those are pretty nice. So let's go ahead and hook up to the animal transport. Now I believe this could be used for horses, cows, pigs, pretty much just about everything. So let's take a quick look at the animal transport. And again, both of these could be found on, well, not the Dodge, but the other, the transport could be found on Expendable Modern Group page on Facebook. I'm sure eventually the Dodge will come out whenever it is ready. Just got to be patient, guys. But in the meantime, like I said, definitely have some fun with the uh, 2011 Ford, which is released. So now, guys, we're going to go ahead and make our way out and head towards the Animal Dealer, which is, where is the Animal Dealer at? Alright guys, so we found the animal dealer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tag it and then make our way over there. Alright, so I believe it was just this long, yeah, this long road right up. Okay, so let's go get going. Let's see how the Cummins handles this trailer here. should be piece of cake for it. So basically, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but basically we're just doing a transportation contract right now. We're going to be um, picking up some... Oh my god, I cannot drive. We're going to be picking up some horses and then delivering them to the ranch. Just noticed the uh, trailer also has lights as well. That's really nice. That's cool how it's all synced together. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the interior here. Very nice. Got the steering wheel. Gauges work. Mirrors work. Very nice cab. I like it. Alright, I think we're here. Alright, so we're going to actually go to the buy point and then try to purchase these animals. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take this dirt road. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so we're here now. So let's go ahead and start our purchase. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and purchase some horses here, guys. Now, we have different options. It's pretty cool. You can purchase, like, pretty much every animal here. It's really cool. So we'll, we're going to purchase a lot of animals in future videos, but today we're going to be working on horses. So let's go ahead and start getting our horses purchased. They're all about $5,000. So let's go ahead and start with that, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start purchasing some of these horses here. I'm just going to get about one of each color. Not sure how many we could get here. Livestock child's full. Okay, so we got six. We were able to get six. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And let's hop out. And it looks like we can actually... I think we can open the door in this thing too. Um, yeah, we can open the door. Okay, so let's take a look at this, guys. We can actually see the horses inside. That is extremely cool, guys. So you can actually see the animals as you put them in there. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so we have all of our horses. And we have a little bit of, uh, I'm not sure if that's hay or whatever down there as well for them. So this is extremely cool, guys. This is really nice that the horses are actually inside. They fit perfectly, as you can see. It's realistic. So realistically, it's about six horses that looks like we could fit. And that's how much we have. So... Very nice job to the modders on that there. Let's go ahead and close that door up. We're gonna turn the lights on. Like I was saying, it's really cool how the trailer lights work with the truck lights as well. So let's go ahead and get this to the ranch, guys. So we're gonna get paid for pretty much selling and transporting our horses. So we're gonna charge the customer the $5,000 that we paid to purchase each one we may charge them a little more maybe maybe we'll mark up the price of the horses and we'll also charge them for the transportation as well so hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode if you do make sure you guys hit that like button leave some comments down below let me know what else you guys would like to see in farming simulator um expendables also gave me access to a 2010 ford 
So if you guys want to see the 2010 Ford, definitely let me know and I'll do a video about that. So we're coming up here to the ranch now, guys. And sorry my driving is so bad. Um, I'm using an old controller and it veers to the left a lot. So I got to like constantly turn right to try to go straight. But this truck is doing well though. We're hauling a lot of weight right now. We got the trailer, we got six horses, and this thing is doing nice, doing awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and carefully try to get to this horse paddock here. It's kind of not flat land, but nowhere on this map is really flat. So let's go ahead and head into here and see if we could go ahead and put the animals in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put all of them inside. How much do you guys think we should charge the customer for um, transporting these horses today? How much do you guys think we should charge them? Let me know down below in the comments section. I say, should we charge them maybe $100 a horse? So $600? Alright guys, so somehow the end of the video got cut off. I think it got cut off at the part when I was asking you guys how much you think we should charge for each horse. So I was saying about $100 each horse. But I don't know how it got cut off. It kind of sucks. Cause I don't remember what I was talking about. But we, ba we basically just ended the episode right in our horse here. So let's go ahead and jump on. It's really cool how you could jump. <laughs> Let me know guys, did you see in Granite Photo 5 when we was riding the horses? That was pretty cool. If you guys saw that, definitely um, let me know. If you didn't see it yet, definitely go check it out. It was a lot of fun. So let's just ride the horse for a little while. It's really cool. You can go at different speeds. You could jump. Oh, you know where we should actually go? Let's um head to the ranch really quickly, guys. The ranch should be right down here. <laughs> over to second gen. Okay, let's head to this ranch thing. I think there's some jumps over here. Yeah, so this is really cool. I wonder if doing these jumps train your horses more. Anybody knows? Let me know in the comments section down below. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, and let me know what you guys would like to see in the next episode. Again, we got that Ford F-150. Oh my God, we're still running. I didn't think I thought it was going to stop. We got the Ford F-150. I'll show it to you guys really quickly here. So let me know if you guys want to, oh, F350, sorry. Let me know if you guys want to use this in the next video. Um, this is also made by Expendables, of course. So let me know if you guys want to see this next. Wow, we ended up all the way over here. That's crazy. So thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.